What's crack, it's Evangeline Scov, and we have one thing to get out of the way before we get on to the main story, and that is that Shane Dawson has been trending pretty much non-stop. And you may be confused because, well, this video is about Shane Dawson and surely that would mean that this one thing to get out of the way does actually relate to the main story, but it does not. Trust me. Yes, Shane Dawson has been trending on Twitter, but that is not because of Shane himself. Shane Dawson has been trending because of Dream. Now, probably quite a lot of you are aware of what happened with Dream lately. Uh, if not, he is a Minecraft YouTuber who was faceless and recently revealed his face to the world, which obviously resulted in mass bullying and unexpectedly resulted in Shane Dawson trending constantly because of that, because as it turns out, Dream kind of looks a bit like Shane Dawson. So after this face reveal, Dream himself was trending, but so was Shane because of obvious reasons. And now once again, Shane Dawson is trending on Twitter because Dream posted a new picture of himself, which everybody said, yeah, that's Shane. And quite honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you people and say, I don't see the resentment because I do, because when I saw this most recent picture, I was just scrolling and I did think it was Shane Dawson, not even like a, oh, that looks like him kind of way. Like, no, I fully thought that this was Shane Dawson, which obviously he comes up on my Twitter thingy, whatever it's called. I'm old apparently, if I don't know what that's called, but he, he comes up, it's Shane Dawson, so I didn't question it until I realized it was not Shane, it was Dream. And this seems to have caught the attention of Shane himself, unsurprisingly, because I'm sure people were tagging him and tweeting at him, and if he sees his own name trending, he's gonna wanna know why, cause he does tend to get himself in trouble quite a bit. Although not so much recently, but we're gonna get into it. And Shane posted on his Instagram story saying, that's me, That that's like straight up me, how is this not me? <laughs> so even Shane sees the resemblance. Now Dream, to my knowledge, has not come out and said anything about this, so I would love to know if Dream sees the resemblance himself, or maybe he hadn't seen it until people pointed it out, and now he's like, oh, or maybe he doesn't get it at all. Which I would understand. I, for one, do not know what I look like. Truly, I know that sounds like a joke. It's, it's not. I just don't know what I look like. I edit my videos every single day. I look at my face on, on Premiere when I'm editing, and I still would not recognize my face. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't admit that out loud. Anyway, let's get on to the main bits of the story about Shane Dawson that I actually wanted to talk about. But obviously I couldn't make a video about Shane Dawson and current Shane news without talking about this stuff. Before we get on with the rest of it though, please, and actually do this, don't just listen to me say it and shoot it out, please subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. You can just do it. It takes like less than a second to just click that subscribe button. And if you want to revoke your subscription at any time, you can do that. So, you know, it's not legally binding that you have to be subscribed to me forever. So just do it, please. It would make me feel really nice. And while you're doing that, you can also turn on all notifications, not personalized, make sure that it is all so that you will know when I upload a new video. Thank you very much. So let's move on to the rest of the Shane news that is actually about Shane himself. So do you all remember when a lot of Shane's YouTube career revolved around making documentary style videos about other people? He had a series about Tana Mojo, about Jake Paul, that one got a lot of backlash, Eugenia Cooney, and two series with Jeffree Star. One of them was just straight up about Jeffree, the other was about the beauty world. I'm sure you all remember that. That spurred quite a lot of drama. Like, you remember Dramageddon? God, that feels like so long ago. It really wasn't, but it also really was. Like, Dramageddon was pre-pandemic. Holy crap. Okay, let's move on before I have my inevitable existential crisis. I'll save that for off camera. But moving on, there was two series with Jeffree Star. And I'm sure you all remember at least some of it, at least the Beauty World series or the fallout that came from that. Now, if you remember correctly, that all kind of ended with Shane saying, I am leaving the Beauty World. Screw all of you people. You're all a bunch of clowns, <laughs> essentially. I mean, I'm ad-libbing obviously, but you know, that that felt like the gist of it. And he was very angry at the time. He was also very canceled at the time. Uh, a lot of emotions running very high, a lot of tension. But he's come back to YouTube, you know, he's doing his stuff. He's doing his conspiracy podcast. He's doing other things. 
I think. There's vlogs with Ryland. They're gonna have a baby, by the way, if you didn't know that. I feel like I spoke about that, but I may also not have. I don't know. But if you didn't know, they're gonna have a baby via surrogate. And they are still engaged and not married. I don't know what the deal is there. I don't know if they're pl still planning to get married. I, I don't know. But throughout all of this fallout from Dramageddon and the beauty stuff, Shane and Jeffrey still managed to stay friends, which there was a lot of speculation on whether that was actually gonna be the case. Uh, people thought Jeffrey was gonna drop Shane. But no, they stayed friends. Shane's doing his videos, Jeffrey's doing his his, although they're not doing particularly well, they're not performing the best, but Jeffrey uh, moved to Wyoming and got yaks, <laughs> which he said were his pets, I guess, but then he sold them for meat. So uh, that's that's the meat industry. And Shane and Ryla moved to Colorado. Uh, everybody said, screw LA, hate that. What? Okay, I've never been to LA, never been to Wyoming or Cal Cal Colorado. <laughs> or anywhere in the United States, so I can't speak for any of those places, so cool decisions. I want to... <laughs> can I interject quickly about something about the yaks? Because when this happened, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you guys, when this happened with the yaks, that Jeffrey had said these were gonna be like his pets, he was never gonna hurt them, and then he sold them for meat, everybody was in uproar, like complete and utter uproar and I fully understand it upset me too however people are not gonna like my take on this but I just I like this bothers me I think if you're somebody who eats meat right and I have no problem with you if you do that right obviously I'm not gonna like shout down your throat don't eat meat people eat meat I don't live in a weird bubble people eat meat so if you are somebody who eats meat I don't see why you'd have a problem with Jeffrey selling the yaks or for, for meat or butchering the yaks or whatever it is. I don't think Jeffree Star was there himself with a butcher knife actually doing it himself, so I assume he sold it. <laughs> I don't think he did the butchering. Um, You never know, though. But it's like, yeah, he said originally that they were his pets, but I mean, like, it's the same killing a yak as killing a cow. Like, it's the same thing. So I don't get, like, I... I would get the vegetarians and the vegans, you know, not being the happiest about it. But if you eat meat, like, what's the difference? I don't get it. Anyway, sorry. I just want- nobody's gonna like my opinion on that. I'm so sorry, but that's just how I feel. But moving on from that, there is now news to do with Shane and Jeffrey. And that is that they are going to be doing a brand new series together. Series number three. Yay. <laughs> It is going to be a three-part series and Shane announced this on his social media with a picture of what I assume is going to be the first thumbnail. And in it you can see it has Shane and Jeffrey, it says Wyoming, there's the pink barn and all of that. So I think what it's going to be about is Jeffrey's new life in Wyoming and how things have changed for him. It's probably going to talk about the yaks so maybe we'll get more insight into what happened there. And it may also talk about makeup and things like that um, because the previous ones obviously have been very makeup heavy because that is Jeffree Star's career. He owns Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Quite obviously, it would be very weird if somebody else owned that, actually. It has his name on it. I don't know. And, you know, does YouTube videos and stuff like that. And in this picture, in this supposed thumbnail, Jeffree is putting on lip gloss. So it probably, most likely, will go into makeup and farm life and yaks and Wyoming. So it is going to be different. I mean, it is going to cover different things than the other things covered because the first series was sort of taking a deeper look at Jeffree Star himself, um, you know, who he is as a person, trying to get people to hate him less, which a lot of that stuff was kind of unsurprising to me because although I didn't really closely follow Jeffree Star's YouTube career and makeup career, I used to follow him way back when, when he was doing music. Um, I was a big fan of his music. <laughs> Like, I knew all the words to all his songs, had, like, whole albums on Facebook dedicated to pictures of Jeffree Star. Because <laughs> he had a lot of cool, like, MySpace photos way back when. So, I used to know him then, so I kind of knew a lot of this stuff because I'd followed him kind of closely. Then the second series was all about the makeup world and was more about Shane creating his palette and all the mess that happened after that. So, I mean, I think this new series isn't... 
what's the word? It isn't like redundant. Like it's going to cover new stuff and people are going to watch it. Like as much as people say like, oh, we hate this. Blah, 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 blah. I was actually going to say real words there, but I stumbled over my own mouth and then just kept going. So um, blah, 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 that was what you got. But I think I got my point across. People are going to watch it because there is some intrigue. Although people aren't really watching Jeffree Star's newest content and not as many people are watching Shane Dawson's new stuff. People are going to watch for the drama of it all. People are gonna watch for the inside and people are gonna watch to know like what these two are getting up to. What happened with the acts? Like the makeup stuff. They want Shane to talk about his controversies and the conspiracy palette and everything that happened there. People want them to go into that. So people are going to watch it. So as a business move, I mean, it makes perfect sense. And people were speculating like this was gonna happen, that Shane was gonna come back with a new series with Jeffrey. And you know what? more than likely it is going to boost their numbers a little bit, at least temporarily. Like, I don't see why it wouldn't. People are talking about this. People are going to watch it. It's going to do well for them. And I, it is going to cover new stuff. So I mean, th there's an audience for it. There's an audience who are going to hate watch. There's an audience who are just going to be curious. And then there's going to be the audience who actually likes them and wants to see what's going to happen. So that's that. And to be honest, in and of itself, I don't really see the problem. Like, they're content creators and they're creating content. But that brings me to another story uh, to do with Shane, which is actually potentially more harmful. And I'm not gonna go super, super, super in-depth on this one. I just kind of want to point it out as a thing that this is happening. Um, some of you might already be aware, some of you might not, but that is to do with one of Shane's old friends. And look, Shane Dawson has been on YouTube for about 75 years now. He's been on YouTube a long time. And in that time, he's made friends with a lot of YouTubers. I mean, him and a lot of YouTubers grew together. They were the only people on the platform in the same area, you know, the only people doing what they did. He had a lot of friends in the sphere and he had a lot of people who actually were on his channel because he used to have a thing where he'd have other people make videos on his channel it didn't really do that well people didn't really like it which makes sense because people came to see shane dawson on shane dawson's channel and then when they had like somebody else under the shane dawson name just like talking about like news or whatever people were kind of like why don't like this which also ties into like bobby burns and people not liking that but this is not about Bobby Burns. And like, by the way, I really want Bobby Burns on my podcast. Have you guys been watching Scoffcast? Have you? Please watch it. It's good. You'll like it. Thank you. But I really want Bobby Burns on my podcast, but I just have like no way to contact him. I also don't think he'd agree to it, but I would like him on my podcast. <laughs> so if anybody knows if he has a business email that I can reach out to, please let me know because I cannot find one. Why can I not find one? Anyway, beyond the point. <laughs> this is not about Bobby Burns. This is about an old friend of Shane Dawson's, Destry Smith. If you've heard this name before, it may be because of his old content. It may be because of the collaborations that he's done with Shane, or it may be because of the allegations that came out about him a while ago. And as soon as you say allegations about a YouTuber, you kind of know where it's going, unfortunately. These were allegations that he had been inappropriately communicating with and texting with minors, with young teenagers, 12, 13, 14, 15, that he had received images from them and requested to video call with them in inappropriate ways. And there were screenshots, i.e. texts and things like that to kind of back up a lot of this. Although I will still say it is all alleged, so do not take what I'm saying as fact and also don't sue me. So it's all alleged, but quite a lot of evidence that looks pretty damning to Destry Smith. And there were a lot of people who came out about him. A lot of young girls who said when they were much younger than they are now, they had had inappropriate communication with him. So it did not look good. And he did, in fact, respond to all of this. He made a video talking about this and his response was that cancel culture is a thing so he's not going to like try and defend himself because people won't 
believe him and he doesn't want to drag somebody else's name through the dirt to redeem himself which like I'm sorry if that was like if somebody spread that kind of lie about me I do not care if I drag your name through the mud I am gonna make sure people know that that's a lie and so if I can defend myself and prove my innocence I will defend myself and prove my innocence so it's a little bit weird that he did that he just chose to say uh, I don't want to drag somebody else's name through the mud and yeah, cancel culture, so nobody's gonna believe me. But then also at the same time, right, he said, yeah, I used to be a terrible person. But I've changed, what? So is this your like admission of guilt, uh, allegedly? Allegedly, is this your admission of guilt? Or is this just like, I don't know, it was the worst response to these like super serious allegations that I have ever heard. It was, bizarre. Now you may be wondering how this ties into Shane Dawson now and that is because Shane Dawson just announced that he hired Destry Smith as an editor for his podcast. So this has a lot of people concerned and um, people are wondering why Shane would do this given the allegations. Now these were like a year or two years ago but like they still exist whether they were a year or two years ago and there's no way that Shane doesn't know about it. So the options are either that Shane believes that Destry Smith is completely innocent and all of this was completely falsified or Shane believes this stuff is true and doesn't care. Now for Shane's sake and for the sake of my own sanity and my own belief that there has to be some goodness in the world, I would like to believe that Shane just believes that Destry's innocent for some reason. Maybe some behind the scenes reason that we don't know about. I don't know. Whatever the reason, like whatever's going through his ed head. Ed? His Ed? His big Ed? God, what's big Ed doing these days? Anyway, whatever is going through his head, that is the better option. It's not a great option. <laughs> but it's the best of these two options because I truly don't want to believe that he would know that somebody's done stuff like this and still choose to hire them and associate with them. <sighs> it's a bad one. It's a bad one. It's a, it's a difficult one. Um, I don't think we're going to get any kind of statement on it. I really don't. I think that's just going to be the end of it. He's just going to wait for it to die down. I think Shane has kind of moved on from making statements. I think he's decided that doesn't work for him. Now, I could be wrong on that, but that's just what I've seen. But like, do let me know what you think. Like, do you think that Shane thinks that he's innocent? Do you think that he's just ignoring all of it? Do you think some magic third option that I haven't considered? And what do you think about the new series as well, actually? That, by the way, which I didn't mention, the new series with Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, the three-part series, the first episode, comes out on November 1st. So I'm gonna do my best to try and make a video about the first episode uh, as quickly as possible. My issue is <laughs> that I don't know when the second and third episode comes out and I'm gonna be away for a little bit. Um, so I don't know if I'll get to making videos about those immediately, but the first one I'll try and make it as quick as possible. So stay tuned for that, you know, subscribe notifications so that you know when that's out. Before I finish up on the topic of Dream and the face reveal and the Shane Dawson stuff. I did actually do a video with Elise on her podcasting channel talking about the whole face reveal so I'll link that in the description if you want to check it out. We just kind of talk about our thoughts about what everybody had to say about the face reveal, what we think about it and talked a little bit about you know faceless YouTubers and stuff in general so it was really fun to do so definitely check it out. I think you'd like it. And you know what while I'm telling you to check that out also I have a new video on my vlogging channel. It's a little like mini little try on haul thing. Also check out Scoffcast. Like come and share, do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!